Market volatility can feel chaotic, but options pricing is not random. In this market measure study, we look at how Theta and Vega behave when volatility jumps, and why short premium trades often benefit more than you might expect from these events. Stay tuned, our research will walk you through the mechanics behind these moves. How Theta and Vega react to markets. How do you think they react? How Theta and Vega react during market spikes? Um, I think, uh, well, I mean, Vega is going to go higher and, well, market sp spikes? Well, what kind of trade? What are they looking at? Strangle. We're going to strangle? Well, I mean, markets, they're talking about the S&Ps, the Qs, IWM, the Dow. Those volatilities are going to expand. Yeah. Going to get that tail risk. Uh, certainly, gonna, it's, Vega is going to go up, uh, Theta is going to go up, I would imagine. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. All right. So short premium traders benefit from time decay and an op of an option's extrinsic value. Uh, that's your theta. But risk potential losses from exposure to changes in IV. When you're selling premium, you are long time, mm -hmm. time decay. Yep, yep. You are short volatility. So you're selling the implied volatility. You're, you're expecting realized volatility, the actual move in the stock to be lesser than what is implied. Those are the two things that you're trading, along with your directional assumption. But for the purpose of this segment, we're talking about strangles. So you're basically flat delta. But um, you know, those are the three Greeks that we really look at. Mm -hmm. Trade with a high initial profit potential has a high theta for the amount of Vega risk at the time of the trade. Um, and that's just telling you when you are selling premium, the more vol exposure you have, the more extrinsic value there's going sure. to be. It's sure. not... It goes hand in hand. So we're going to take a look at the risk factors for a 16 delta spy strangle in different IVR environments. So we're we're basically going to isolate the IVR and kind of show how much more vol exposure, how much more theta exposure you get when volatility is higher versus when it's low. Good. Gold only down six. Yeah, gold only down six. Uh... Silver down three and change. Mm. Uh, spread is uh, fifty nine now, so it's moved about five hundred bucks on the big futures. I mean, on the uh, small futures uh, in this this little time frame that we had on. So, selling gold and buying silver worked this morning. The opposite of the way that we've had it on after the big move from mm. fifty five and change up to sixty nine and a half. Maybe uh, we should have been a two sided trader. Damn, put that in your notes. Shame. Uh, the study here, so we're looking at SPY uh, 2020 to 2025, so the last five years, 45 days, and managed at 21 days. We're going to look at, of course, the IVR ranges. We're going to compute the Vega, Theta, change in Vega, and the change in Theta. So we're trying to give you like a magnitude of how much value uh, or how much the Greeks are going to change based on different buckets of IVR. And, of course, we're going to compare the results. So let's take a look here. The amount of initial IV uh, directional risk is lower on average in higher IVR environments because options at a given delta are priced efficiently for that IVR environment. It's counterintuitive. When volatility is very, very high, you have, uh, you're not only are you getting paid more for taking the risk, but the risk is priced more efficiently. It's priced better because Volatility is pricing in the fear. When volatility is low, it's not pricing in fear. That's correct. That's correct. But it's they're both perfectly priced. They're both perfectly priced, yes. But you have less vol exposure when volatility is high because you're, the vol can only go so high. Yeah. Or it can only go so don't, low. Don't say that. Yeah, it can only go so low. I mean, it, what, what, you're, what you, volatility is mean reverting. Faster than price is what you're really trying yes. to say there, because uh, volatility yes. volatility contracts a lot faster than the stock's movement. Meaning, just because Costco's up forty dollars today, the chances are going up another forty dollars, or or if you're looking for a downside move, is a lot less than volatility itself. If volatility was high, volatility contracting. If the stock sits, the volatility is definitely going to contract. Yes. So you can see here as your you know your your exposure to Vega decreases as volatility gets higher. Mm -hmm. Good one. IVR gets higher. Yep. Uh, so on average, as IVR increases, the extrinsic value of the strangle 
also decreases at a faster daily rate. This goes to exactly what you were just saying. The, it's not necessarily that the price goes right back to where it was or, or bounces or whatever, but that the volatility contraction is typically much quicker and much bigger than the move in the underlying in that, you know, in that direction. That's right. So um, uh, this means that high IVR short premium trades benefit both from faster time decay and reduce IV directional risk. So when you're in a high IV environment and you're trading something that, that has high implied volatility, and we're using SPY here, but just across the board, not only are you getting paid more to take that risk, the, the trades are gonna are are gonna move quicker and you need you know less time for that to happen. So these you know, it's a, it all reinforces why we're always looking for high IV. This is it. You have right. faster time decay. You have uh, your IV exposure is lesser because you're further out on the curve. It, you, get, you got all the things you've been playing for yeah. on entry. You, you get them you know, faster and better when, when the IV rank is higher. But we're in a low volatility environment, yes. so it's harder to find these. You're, you're, going, you're starting to get a little bit more direction. Next slide here. Uh, so theta tends to increase with IV at a much faster rate than Vega uh, tends to decrease, particularly in high IV environments. So this means that you know premium traders tend to benefit much more from faster time decay than the reduced IV directional risk in high IVR. So the 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 basic here is that you're getting paid on the the time decay much quicker than the volatility contraction. Um, uh, via Vega. Yep, I don't have too much to add, but you're 100 percent correct. I can say that. Couple takeaways. Let's do it. So a trade with high initial profit potential has a high theta for the amount of Vega risk at the time of the trade. Uh, 16 delta spy strangles have a high initial theta and lower initial Vega in high IV environments, but short premium traders benefit much more from the faster time decay than the reduction in the IV directional risk in these types of volatility environments. Basically, we're saying that you know when vol is high, you're getting paid a lot more to take that risk. And if volatility contracts, you get you're you're gonna profit a lot more than when volatility is low and volatility contracts from a lower state. If you wanna keep learning, check the links in the description below. At tastylive.com, you'll find our learning hub, which provides trader courses, strategy walkthroughs, research tools, back testing, and trading concepts you can work with. Check out our free newsletters to help you stay connected to the ideas and research provided only at Tasty Live.